Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, Joey. God is good, brothers and sisters. We're out of here very soon. And so September, Feast of Trumpets, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe while I'm in India, I'll be getting raptured over there. That's a big, that will be, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter because I'll meet my family in the air, right? doesn't matter if we're in the same place. It, it is what it is. But uh, we're on such a short countdown, brothers and sisters. I mean, of course, the Lord, only the Lord knows the day or the hour. We're So that's why I will specifically say we're talking about the tribulation. We are in the final countdown to the to the making of the peace treaty. And October 7th of last year was a huge step in that direction, brothers and sisters. So Israel, the pressure is on for them to make that peace treaty. It's on and it's been on. And by God's grace, it's God's timing. That's why it hasn't happened yet. God's timing, brothers and sisters. Well, Lord, is this reminding me? You know, I talk about four all the time. They just released four hostages. How about that? But in Daniel chapter seven, you know, it's the four beasts. And the four winds, and I talked about this in a video. The Lord reminded me today, so I'm mentioning it now because I don't remember. I made a video about a year ago, six months ago, and I, I talked about the 144,000 witnesses. And in that text, it says that God has the angels to hold back the four winds until they're all sealed with the seal of God that they'd be protected. Okay, and then in Daniel chapter 7, we see again the four winds, and it says that the four winds begin to blow on the earth. So the angels are controlling that, like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The four winds are blowing, and then that is when this beast rises out of the sea that we see in Revelation 13, the Antichrist. So all these winds are blowing to trouble the waters, brothers and sisters, to trouble the waters, the Gentile nations. I mean, because it's talking about the Gentile nations versus Israel in the tribulation. Okay? The troubling of the water. So that's what we're seeing, the, the tribulation. More troubling of the waters, brothers and sisters. So everything we see, this turbulence in the water, is coming from the turbulence of the wind. So God is generating all this. Ultimately, it is the beginning of the judgment of God, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Brother Gary just put a, a, a comment on there years ago. Brother Gary had this dream of a, about the rapture and there was a clock. And then a spear was thrown and hit on the number four. Amen. That's right, Brother Varys. The four waves dream that I had. That's right, too. We got the four gospels on God's side, the four living creatures around the throne, right? You've got all those fours. And then, of course, the cross is like behind me over there. I'm on the rock. I can't do it. It's mirrored. You know that when you do this video, it's somehow mirrored. Anyway, how about that? Maybe I'll get it one of these days. There it is. Anyway, there's four points on the cross, too. There's four points. North, south, east, and west, you know, brothers and sisters, all these things. Yes, and the four watches of the night. Amen, amen, amen. The four waves dream that I had. So the four is really talking about the tribulation in a way. Of course, there's the four of heaven, as we mentioned, the four living creatures and all that. The four beasts of the kingdoms of man, Daniel chapter 7. You know, and then, like I said, the four winds causing this tribulation on earth. The four horsemen of the apocalypse, all that. So when you say four, hugely, it's talking about the, you know, this culmination of all things. All things converge on that cross. I'll try it again. All things converge on that cross. Like I said, the Lord had showed me that it, in Acts, everything went out from the cross. In the alpha of the church age, the beginning of the church age, it all went out from the cross. And then from Pentecost, it all went out from Jerusalem, right? The Bible tells us in the Old Testament, Zechariah, that uh, chapter 12 and 14, God will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling, you know, and a stumbling block to every nation that tries to fool with it. You know, they're going to divide that land. We're talking about specifically the Temple Mount, Jerusalem and all that. So I said in the video from 2017 that I posted. And I talked about in 444 B.C. is actually when it was. Daniel, again, Daniel, chapter nine, um, the angel Gabriel told Daniel that 70 weeks are determined for your people. There's the sevens. 70 weeks are determined for your people. And so 69 weeks have been fulfilled. One more week is left at the 70th week of Daniel, the seven year tribulation. So the decree went out to rebuild the temple. So he said, we're talking about they're going to rebuild the temple again. Okay. So 
the decree went out in 444 BC to rebuild the temple. And that's the time, that's when the 70 weeks began, brothers and sisters. And the 69th week ended, so seven, uh, you know, 69 weeks of seven years. It ended on Palm Sunday, the, the day Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey. That's when the clock stopped. When Jesus said to them, when they rejected Jesus on Palm Sunday, he said, "You and there's one week, right? His last week, he's resurrected at the beginning of the next week. So this last seven days, Jesus said, you will not see me again till you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. There he is in the same place where he's returning to. He'll return to the Mount of Olives. He'll walk right across the Kidron Valley up there onto the Temple Mount when he comes back. And there he was going through the Kidron Valley between the Mount of Olives and the Temple Mount when he said that right there in that place because they rejected him. That day, brothers and sisters, their final rejection of the Lord until he comes back. That was their final chance to receive him right then. Of course, God already knew they would not. He already said they would not. They missed their hour of visitation for 2,000 years. That's a long time, brothers and sisters, but that's what happened. That's what God did because you're supposed to know better, right? Just like us. God holds us accountable for what we know, brothers and sisters. That's a whole nother message. So let me see. Um, what was I going to say about all that? Hallelujah. So anyway, in that video from 2017, I said Trump had just announced a move to the embassy to Jerusalem. And he said that, you know, in that decree on the Jubilee year of the liberation of the Temple Mount, right? It was 1960, 1917. The Balfour document was declared to the right for the Jews to return. 19, 50 years later on the Jubilee, 1967, they took the Temple Mount. And then again on another 50-year Jubilee is when Trump made the announcement. See, that's why he was in there. That's from God. He was the trumpet, Trump Pence. I mean, that's true. Announcing that it's repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He didn't mean that. See, a lot of people are pristinely anointed. Trump didn't know what he was doing. It doesn't matter what Trump was thinking. Just like King Darius, you know, in uh, in in Persia, they they let the let the Jews go back at that time. He didn't know what he's doing. He just did it, right? Because that's God had put it in his heart to do it. It doesn't matter what these people thought. Nebuchadnezzar took them into captivity because God said he would. He didn't know what he was doing. He did the will of God. Didn't even know it. it doesn't, we're not talking about that. So so many cardinal-minded people call themselves Christians. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what God's doing, the Ancient of Days. So the decree went out that Jerusalem is the eternal capital of Israel. And I believe, and I said in that video 2017, it would start a countdown. So going with the pattern of God, seven years, it was I think it was December the 5th or 6th or somewhere in there, 2017. It'll be seven years in December. When Trump made that decree, brothers and sisters, well, it's a seven years already by the, by the end of this year. Hallelujah. And I believe that is a timestamp from God, brothers and sisters. And I said that in the video in 2017. Hallelujah. 